Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. And in this video, I will be showing you guys how to get the lowest input delay in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. I will show you guys different methods to lower input lag and get the minimum input delay in Fortnite Season 5. Plus, some of these tweaks will give you guys a bit more FPS, so consider that a bonus point. I don't want to take more of you guys' time with long intros, but thank you all so much for 17,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me and somehow 91.9% .9 of you guys watching my videos are still not subscribe hey what are you waiting for honestly guys if you watch the videos then it's only fair that you subscribe as well so make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button along with the post notifications so you never miss a brand new upload but with that out of the way let's get this video started as always before applying any of the optimizations i highly encourage you guys to create a system restore point just to be safe then sorry so in order to do that head down to your start menu search for create a system restore point open it up select your windows drive Hit configure, turn on system protection, set the max usage to around 5%, then hit apply, hit ok and then click on create. You can go ahead and name it anything as long as you can remember it. Then hit create and that's it. That's how easy and fast it is to create a system restore point. So once you guys have successfully created a system restore point, let's get into the optimizations. So for the first one, we are going to be optimizing our keyboard settings to get the lowest keyboard input delay that we can. In order to do that, head down to your start menu and search for keyboard. Go ahead and open it up. And make sure that the repeat delay is set to short, that's all the way to the right side. And the repeat rate is set to fast, that's again all the way to the right side. Once you guys have done that, hit apply and then hit ok. And now we have successfully optimized our keyboard. Next up we are going to be optimizing our mouse settings. So go down to your start menu once again and search for mouse settings. Go ahead and open it up. Then click on the additional mouse settings under related settings. Then go into the pointer options and for the selector pointer speed slide this all the way to the left and then using your keyboard arrow keys press the right key 5 times. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And now it should be on the 6th bar. Then for the enhance pointer precision make sure that this is unchecked. This is going to disable the acceleration that you could be experiencing in Fortnite which will help you guys get more precise aim and also lower the input delay. So just go ahead and uncheck that then hit apply and hit ok and now you can close out of this. Another easy way to get lower input delay is using the performance mode. Since performance mode uses DirectX 11, it will give you guys a lot less input delay and also performance mode will give you guys more FPS. And we know that more FPS equals low input delay. Another plus point for the performance mode is that it uses DX11 which supports the exclusive full screen optimization. So we are going to be applying the exclusive full screen optimization right now so that we can get the lowest input delay in Fortnite. So in order to apply the exclusive full screen optimization, head down to your start menu and search for this PC. Go ahead and open it up. And then go into the drive where you guys have installed your Fortnite. For most of the people, it will be their C drive, program files, epic games, Fortnite. And once you guys are inside of this folder in your respective directory, then just go ahead and open up Fortnite game binaries win64 and scroll down till you guys can find these four applications with the fortnite logo on them we are going to be selecting the first one that has the largest file size as well right click on it and go into properties once the property windows opens up go into the compatibility tab and make sure that disable full screen optimizations is checked and run this program as an administrator is checked as well then click on change high dpi settings and make sure that high dpi scaling override is turned on and it's set to application then hit ok, hit apply, hit ok and now you can close out of this. Now we have successfully applied the exclusive full screen optimization and you should be able to see a huge difference in the input delay. Moving on we are going to be optimizing a registry key to get the lowest input delay and the credit for this one actually goes to Adamex. I will leave the link to his channel down below in the description so make sure that you guys go ahead and check out his channel. So in order to apply this optimization head down to your start menu and search for reg edit. Go ahead and run it as admin. Hit yes and then go ahead and copy and paste this path from the description down below. I will leave it in the description so just go ahead and copy it and then paste it inside of here. Once you guys have pasted it, go ahead and press enter and this should open up this key. Then go ahead and double click on the third one that is the win32 priority separation. And for this one, if you guys want the lowest input delay, set the value data to 28. But if you guys are struggling to get better FPS and are always getting low FPS or FPS drops, then set this value to 16. 
So if you guys want the lowest input delay, set the value to 28. But if you guys want more FPS, set the value to 16. For me, I personally want lower input delay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this value to 28. Then hit OK. And now you can close out of this. Now we have successfully applied the registry optimization. For this next step, we are going to be changing a setting inside of our graphics card control panel to give us lower input delay and also get a bit of FPS boost. So in order to do that, right click on your desktop and go to your respective NVIDIA or AMD control panel. I'm going to be showing this method for NVIDIA control panel, but I am pretty sure that it's the same for AMD ones. And I will be showing you guys what to do in the AMD control panel as well after we are done with the NVIDIA control panel. So once the NVIDIA control panel opens up, make sure that you guys are on the adjust image settings with preview and use the advanced 3d image settings is checked then hit apply and then click on take me there once you guys are here go into the program settings and make sure that it's set to fortnite if you guys can't find fortnite inside of here then just simply go ahead and click on add and add fortnite from here but for me i have already added fortnite and what we are gonna be changing inside of here is actually the low latency mode so for a lot of the people, they are now using performance mode and as you guys know, that performance mode disables the NVIDIA low reflex latency mode. So in order to make up for that and get lower input delay, we are going to be turning on the low latency mode. Now for a lot of people, setting it to on will work the best, but for some people, setting it to ultra works better. So I highly recommend you guys to set it to on and then set to ultra as well and test which one works better for you. For me, ultra is working great, so I'm not gonna be changing that. So just go ahead and change this and as for the amd control panel all you guys need to do is turn on the radeon anti-lag option inside of your amd control panel that's how simple and easy it is you can look it up on google it's really easy and simple and once you guys have done that just go ahead and hit apply and then you can close out of this moving on to our final optimizations we are going to be disabling the in-game overlay for discord and our nvidia geforce experience in-game overlays can cause fps drops and also cause huge input delay so if you guys are not actively using them then you should have them disabled so that you can get lower input delay and also a bit more fps as well so in order to disable the discord in game overlay open up discord then click on the gear icon for user settings and then go into overlay make sure that enable in game overlay is turned off and since we are already here, we are going to be disabling the hardware acceleration for Discord as well. So in order to do that, go into the appearance, scroll all the way down till you guys can find the hardware acceleration and make sure that this slider is turned off. This is not going to affect your Discord performance as much, but this is going to give you guys a little bit FPS boost in Fortnite. So I highly recommend you guys to turn off the hardware acceleration and it is going to restart your Discord. So yeah, just be ready for that. And that's it, now we have successfully disabled the hardware acceleration as well as in-game overlay for our discord. By the way, shout out to my discord server, the link can be found in the description if you guys want to join in. Now moving on to turning off the in-game overlay for our NVIDIA GeForce experience. This is going to help you guys even more than the discord in-game overlay because it is always actively running in the background consuming CPU resources that we don't want it to. So in order to disable it, go down to your start menu and search for NVIDIA go ahead and open up geforce experience once it opens up click on this gear icon and then just go ahead and turn off the in-game overlay just keep in mind that you guys won't be able to record videos if you do that then i recommend you guys to turn this on otherwise i highly recommend you guys to turn it off it is going to give you guys more fps and lower input delay so once you guys have done that, you can close out of this and that's it. So yeah, those are all of the optimizations inside of this guide. If you guys enjoyed the video, then drop a like down below. And as I said guys, 91.9% .9 of you guys watching my videos aren't even subscribed. So make sure that you guys press that subscribe button along with the post notifications. If you guys will be buying anything from the Fortnite item shop, then make sure to use code Ragnotech to help support me and the channel. Or you can use anyone else's code, just make sure that you guys support your favorite creator because making content is not easy. Help others and spread positivity whenever you can. And with that said, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.